from Intrigue Media. I'm getting my vlog on. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit more on a, a page out of the Simon Sinek book. Uh, he's got a really uh, great read, Start With Why, and it's something that we use religiously at Intrigue with regard to how we come up with a message for our clients and for ourselves. So the, the whole concept is based around his three golden circles and how inspired organizations and inspired leaders communicate versus the rest of the world. And so the three golden circles, you can picture one circle inside another, inside another, uh, like a bullseye. And typically the uh, people uh, out in the world are communicating with the outside circle first, which is the what, and then the inside circle, which is the how, and very few people uh, communicate with the middle circle, which is the why. And uh, Simon Sinek lays it out where these three golden circles uh, actually correlate biologically with how our brain works and the what and the how focus on the neurocortex which is reasoning and language and information and the why uh, correlates with the limbic brain which is emotions and decision making. So um, typically people will market things like uh, this is what we do, we sell cars, this is how we do it better than our competition, we have leather seats and better fuel economy by our car and they don't talk about the purpose and the why where uh, in his book he talks about Apple and some could argue that these days they've lost their way but uh, for the longest time it was uh, think different and their whole purpose was to challenge status quo and they did that by creating elegant uh, user inter user experiences for their computers and great design and they sold computers. So taking a page out of that book, um, it becomes very difficult to try to find someone's why as a company. Um, it took intrigue, uh, countless meetings over you know six, 12 months, trying to ask ourselves, you know, why do we get out of bed in the morning? Why would anybody care? Why do we do what we do every day? And at the end of you know a long process, we, we identified the fact that we're all about empowering leaders and strengthening communities. It's in our lifeblood, it's what we've been doing since day one, and we believe in growing leaders inside our organization as people uh, so that they can then grow leaders in our clients, and by having strong team members and strong client organizations, we can create great places to work and have stronger communities. So empowering leaders, strengthening communities is at the heart of everything we communicate uh, from a marketing message. And if you ever hear our stuff on radio or if you go to our website, it's very prominent. And I wanted to share with you guys a quick little tip on how to get a glimpse to your why. And we came up with this four part questions, uh, like series of questions um, that can help you distill down uh, your purpose in maybe five, 10 minutes. So here's how it goes. The first question you ask yourself is, what do you do? Don't spin it. Don't try to, you know, wordsmith it. Don't try to get fancy. Just brass tacks. What is it that you do? So, for example, we sell floors. And then you say to yourself, okay, well, how do I do it differently than the competition? That's the second question. How do you do it differently than your competition? And maybe in this instance, um, there's, you know, for a flooring company, they, they're consultative. They look at uh, expertise. They give their clients advice. They help them... Uh, pick color and design and they walk people through a very uh, consultative process. That's how they do it different than their competition, say versus, you know, like Home Depot who sells on price. And then the question after that becomes, um, well, why do you do it that way? And this is where you start to get some good information. And some people might say in the sake of the, or in the case of this uh, flooring company, uh, well, we do it this way because we want to make sure people are making the right decision for their home. And we do it this way because we know that buying flooring can be a very daunting experience because there's thousands of selections to choose from. And it's true. I bought floor. It's, there's a ton. And then the last question is, uh, why is that important to you? And this is where the answers become uh, very useful and where you find a lot of meat and meaning into a company's purpose. And for the sake of a foreign company, they might say, well, it's important for people to feel comfortable when they're at home with their kids. Or it's important for people um, 
to make sure that they've made a really good decision and feel good about working with our company. And then the question becomes, well, okay, well, well why, why is that important to you? And you can ask again if you really wanted to. But the, the brass tacks on the four-part uh, question series is what do you do? How do you do it differently than your competition? Why do you do it that way? And why is that important to you? And if you answer those four questions, that last answer will be very fruitful in crafting a good marketing message. So I hope that helped. It's a quick tip on trying to find your purpose and your why as a company. And uh, if you are gonna be doing any marketing in 2017, I highly recommend using the process. We do it for all of our clients and it works great. So if you have any other questions or comments, um, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll be making sure that uh, I respond to them and talk on topics uh, regarding your questions. Okay, thanks guys, bye.